Hello and welcome to this introduction to the Continuum Optical Stabiliser for Adobe Premiere. I have a wobbly clip in my V1 track that I'd like to lock down, so I'll go to the Timeline Effects window, open the Continuum Image Restoration group and drag Continuum Optical Stabiliser to the V1 track. The message alerts me to the fact that I need to switch from proxy to full res preview in Premiere in order that the tool can analyse the full resolution of the source clip. Now I'll click the Analyse button to analyse the motion. Continuum Optical Stabiliser uses optical flow to compare camera motion and motion in the picture content, so I'll analyse the full frame as indicated by the top left and bottom right corner widgets in the preview window. The effect is applied with its default settings, applying stabilisation to translation and auto-scaling the image to remove any borders introduced by the stabilisation. I'll disable auto scale and scrub to take a look at the stabilised clip. There's a small amount of rotation and scaling to remove, so I'll switch stabilisation mode to translation, rotation and zoom to correct this. Now I'll examine the edge handling options. The default is a colour fill, but I can also choose to repeat edge pixels and reflect or tile the source image. Now I'll enable compare mode to compare my stabilised shot with the original. There's quite a lot of offset applied, as the start frame is set to be the reference frame by default, which means that its orientation is preserved when stabilisation is applied. If I set the reference frame to one later in the clip, midway between the extremes of camera movement, the translation is less pronounced. Now I'll re-enable auto scale and set the scaling filter mode to magic sharp for optimal quality scaling, and scrub to see the final result. In this example there's a lot more motion, and the motion of the cars may confuse the optical flow, so I'll change the analysis region by dragging the top left and bottom right corners to an area which should be static and which contains some high contrast detail to track. Now I'll analyse the motion. I want to keep the camera pan in this clip, but remove the jitter, so I'll change stabiliser mode to smooth, and set the smoothing range to 25 frames to retain the overall motion of the camera while smoothing the jitter. Once again I'll enable compare mode to compare my stabilised shot with the original. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.